that nobody was forced to have a vaccine. I believe everybody was offered an opportunity to get a vaccine or not get a vaccine. I don't believe that anybody was forced to take a vaccine. This is going to be like, well, it's almost like, I, you probably don't see it like this, the two different classes of people. If you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated. That is what it is. So, yep. Yep. In terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they made ultimately made their own choices. There was no, there was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. There's no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. So the person, for example, who made the choice not to get vaccinated, lost their business and laid people off. That's on them, not you. Well, they made a choice. What the ramifications be for teachers or those in the health workforce who choose not to be vaccinated? Ultimately, in the health workforce, they will not be able to work in those roles. But no one was made to be vaccinated. In the education workforce, uh, from next year, they won't be able to work in those roles. Well, they made a choice. The forced COVID vaccination era in New Zealand must and should go down as one of the worst cases of mass injustice in the country's history. People were unquestionably forced to have COVID vaccinations against their wishes and so many people who lost their homes and their livelihoods should be compensated. Furthermore, several high-ranking politicians and academics should also be prosecuted for a wide range of deliberate public dishonesty, including charges of manslaughter. Thank you for listening. Wangare Tim.